sleep. I was hungry, so I got up, uh, did some dishes, uh, did some work, I had something to eat. I'm still uh, having sort of that midnight snack, if you will. And it's just about 4.30 in the morning, so give you time and date stamp. It is 4 hours and 35 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, March 16th, 2016. And I'd like to say happy birthday to my brother. Uh, although this is going to be up uh, later, it's not. Gonna, so what happens is there's a lag between when I film and when I, when when I'm uh, when this goes up. Um, I'm not really too sure how I'm going to clear that log that that backlog up. We'll see what ends up happening. How I end up clearing that uh, discrepancy up. So the, the days aren't as far out as uh, as uh, as they currently are. I think we're about two weeks out from uh, our filming, so I think what just went up was uh, uh, f the February February twenty eighth to uh, to March to March third. Uh, uh, that's coming up on Thursday. Tomorrow will be the third to the fifth of March. So we are, as I said, a couple days out. Uh, uh, actually, just we're a couple weeks out. Uh, from uh, the uh, current vlogs that are up, up, you know, so between filming and time it gets out, it's about two weeks. Or so we're about 14 days out. <laughs> Thinking of trying to think when you're tired like this d does have, uh, uh, it does have its challenges. <laughs> but I think is that this is my time to sort of relax. I'm not checking up on the news, I'm not doing any further. Uh, anything like that. I'm just sort of watching um, uh, Kim Possible right now, and uh, uh, after I'm done, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna have another glass of milk. I'll probably hydrate after that because uh, the body goes through a lot of fluids when you're doing this when you walk, and so putting the fluids back into the body is extremely important. So. And then I'll probably end up going back to bed around 5, 5.30 in the morning. So I'll be up for another hour before I go back to get to bed again for the uh, second half of my sleep. And then however long I sleep for then, then I'll get up and start my next day. Uh, so it'll be in a couple hours. From that, but probably, I'll probably get up around noon. So another eight hours from now. So if I'm up for an hour... That'll give me about seven hours, another seven hours worth of sleep. But anyways, we'll see what happens. We'll see how things go. And, uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theorel's uh, BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. It is just about uh, <clears throat> two thirty in the afternoon. I decided to get up <clears throat> and get the day started. So, but I'm here. I'm uh, promising to vlog more. So, let's try. I'm gonna try to do this. I've got the camera set up now on a nice tripod that's easy to move around. So. <clears throat> I can be in a variety of different places and, and, and vlog. So here I'm in the kitchen again. 
uh, basically the sink area and I'm gonna wash some dishes so uh, it is 14 hours and 26 minutes into the day of Wednesday March 16th uh, 2016 and it's time to wash some dishes I got a lot, a lot, a lot planned for today Uh, I plan to get out uh, the first videos for uh, Tweetline Plus. I think I'm going to maybe get two videos out today because they're only like 10-15 minutes in length. So they're not anything long to put together in, ter in terms of uh, uh, the assembly part. It's the understanding, it's the background that will come in later on that's more, com what's more complex. How to present it, how to sort of present the materials inside. These all this this all presented uh, a number of uh, let's say interesting problems in that the solutions were not always as easy to come by as one might assume as one might assume it wasn't as simple as it wasn't as simple as oh just get the just get the videos out there and don't worry about it uh, because there's so, there's so many people doing news there's so many people giving you information you want to know well why should it come to, why should I come to your particular channel and what I want to show people is that there's differences in the news there, there different channels give you different views uh, on not only the news but what's going on in the world they have different perspectives and when you're doing proper uh, proper analysis, and this includes uh, uh, intelligence analysis, you're not looking at one source, just one source. You're looking at a variety of sources, it's the, and it's the variety of sources uh, that fundamentally matters. So this is the case here, where we have to look at a variety of sources and bring all the information together. Just drawing a glass. <laughs> so, you know, it, it does take a while to, to pick things up. To get your... to get your sources put together properly. And, but once you do have your sources put together properly, like I do, uh, now anyways, uh, you then have to go on and t think about, okay, well, you've got this information, how do you want to present it? Because that's going to that's gonna present its own series of challenges. How you present something often determines uh, how your audience will perceive it. Now, there's only there's only so much you can do in terms of spoon feeding your audience the information, because if you're actually doing analysis then you're not going to be interested in spoon-feeding the people. This is, this is not going to be an audience that they say, okay, I'm going to spoon-feed you information. So the next option is, is, okay, well, you'll see a lot of people will start using quotes and references. But the problem with quotes and references is that you can take a quote or a reference and use it out of context. And it's, impo it's impossible when you're, when you're reading somebody's quote or text to understand whether or not that quote or text, the reference, is, it, is being used within its proper context. And so this becomes the challenge when you're 
wanting to get want, wanting to get out a good amount of information. My solution is, is as such. If you're really interested in what's going on, it's not enough to simply quote. And for people to go and check the quotes and where they got them from. You have to do studies. You have to you have to do to a certain some degree, you have to do your own analysis. And without that analysis, without doing your own analysis, there's no progressing further. So a lot of times what I'll be doing is, is talking about uh, doing studies uh, in a more academic fashion than simply uh, taking quotes. Which means that it's not simply, the Tweet Line Plus is not going to be simply news. It's going to be a bit of homework that you're going to have to do in order to get uh, in order to get a better understanding or a better handle on what's happening in the world. You know, you know, why things are happening. These things don't all, a lot of events in the world seem isolated. Uh, or they don't seem to have any particular context to them in terms of historical context. But that's not necessarily the case. It's just what happens more often than not in most news programs, in most media outlets, the context the historical context that a particular event sits in is very simply not presented. What happens, most news outlets, most news broadcasters will only present the immediate information and nothing further. There will be no background, there will be no history. Uh, all that will be missing. So, an event seems, oh, this is a one-off event, this is something not connected. And then the most they'll do is they'll talk about, oh, terrorism, and they'll connect it gener very generally to a so-called terrorist event. There won't be any form of analysis beyond that. And what happens, because there is no further analysis beyond that, except for some of these uh, so-called experts that they bring on, This is where you start running into problems. Because these so-called experts may not actually be experts. They may be people who are paid to say certain things. In other words, they may be agents designed to get or sent out there to provide a bit of uh, a, a bit of propaganda. And I think this propaganda is falsified news. It's not real news. Um, although in terms of intelligence analysis, propaganda can certainly, depending on how it's put together, propaganda certainly can be uh, useful in intelligence uh, now, in the intelligence anal uh, uh, analysis. But the thing is, it's not always the case. Uh, and the thing is, you don't know uh, from one point to the next, uh, which which point of view, which history that they're talking about in terms of this uh, propaganda, you don't know which one is correct, when which one is not correct, correct, unless you know your history. And so, in other words you will often have to go into history for this. So there's going to be a bit of a... <laughs> a bit of background that has to be done, that has to be sort of checked off, and once this background is done and checked off, then you'll have a better way of, uh, of assessing what's actually going on. So... The way this is going to work out 
is that you'll have uh, TweetMind Plus as the first 15 minutes, that will be your 15 minute introduction. There's going to be uh, headlines and beyond hours length. There's going to be another uh, uh, type of note type of thing called Insta Vlogs. This will be about a half hour length. So you'll have 15 minutes, half hour, and um, uh, an hour in length in terms of your uh, in terms of your presentation. You can step you can step in easily at the uh, Tweetline Plus, which is the 15 minute, 10 15 minutes in length. Uh, you graduate to Insta Vlogs, which is a half hour, and then move into uh, uh, headlines and beyond, which is something more uh, concentrated. There's a lot more information in there, and this is the stuff that people find in many cases to be very heavy. Uh, but the thing is, it really depends on your point of view. It depends on how you understand things. Uh, these, these are things that are all going to be main factors in your understanding of uh, the presentations at INN, the Internet uh, News Network channel that I have, uh, which will be all... Everything is going to feed into uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Cyborg Alpha TV Network is where everything comes together. Everything is put together. And uh, you don't have to go traipsing off to all the different channels in order to sort of see this. So, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for now. I will see you in the next segment, uh, probably sometime after lunch or something like that, uh, on the editing desk or on the research desk uh, in a couple hours. Alrighty, take it easy. <clears throat> How's it going? Yeah. It's got, it's another late night tonight. Well, let me just the camera. It's a little high. There we go. That's better. Ah, oh, excuse me. Yeah, functionality it comes. Uh, uh, functionality is hard to come by when uh, it's uh, 4.30 in the morning again. Yeah, it's 4 hours and 36 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, March 17th, uh, 2016. Uh, what ends up happening is, uh, this is again another late night uh, of uh, studying at the research desk here. Despite what the other what, what plans you have for the day, if you have an idea and you just want to go check out something for five minutes, more often than not, that five minute uh, project that shouldn't take too long turns out to be something more significant as you continue going on down, as you continue to find more and more sources uh, to sort of give you a better view of what's going on. And this is certainly no exception here, as I began, oh, just about 9 o'clock doing this. And so now, 9 o'clock till midnight is 3 hours. Another 4, so it's been uh, about 7, I've been working on this project, finding more and more sources and putting together the various bit, this, different bits and pieces. Uh, for close to 7 and a half hours. And that makes you... To say the least, exhausted. It knocks it, it knocks a lot of your um, your conscious or abilities, your cognitive abilities, the ability to understand things. These things are pushed off, uh, and the world around you, as you're you're awake, but it becomes in many ways. It becomes in many ways surreal. Uh, you don't perceive things in a very realistic manner sometimes. And this is certainly the case here now is that, you know, I've put together, I've been doing this for seven and a half hours. i got got another half hour left to go before I end up going to bed. I said, I'm not going to be vlogging when I go to bed, man, but a half hour from now because it, it's just too, I'm too tired. Uh, this will be enough for now and, uh, uh, but needless to say, what ended up happening is I ended up pushing off a number of uh, a number of the projects that I was supposed to get done today, uh, got are now being pushed off until tomorrow, 
because uh, there just simply wasn't the energy and the time to to get everything done. You know, this is a five minute project. I was just checking a source. And as I was checking the source, I began to find more source. I found a, a new lead, a direction to go in. When I followed that direction, seven and a half hours later, I got another whole new chunk, uh, another hoop, new chunk of perspective that is going to shift the way I present some of the information in the upcoming uh, videos, the news videos. And it's a, you know, a very telling environment. It's, it's, uh, uh, but sometimes <clears throat> the perspectives come in ways that you don't expect. And this includes uh, finding new sources just by checking one single source. You can do a quick check on it. You have, it pops up on, on in, in your mind. You, you jot a note down. Let me just sort of take a look at this one little thing. And then seven hours later, that one tiny little thing has become something significantly larger. Anyways, uh, I'm going to uh, watch some more of my Open IPTV. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll show you a bit of the Open IPTV. We'll see. We'll do some t test shots so you can sort of see what's going on. And uh, I'll show you. I'll talk about how I, how I watch TV, even though I don't have cable. How Open IPTV is, uh, for those of you who want an alternative source to mainstream TV, if you want to sort of cut the cable, if you will, that Open IP TV is actually uh, one of the ways you can actually do that. Anyways, I will see you in the next segment of the Big Bang Theory BTS vlog. I'll see you, yeah, next segment. <laughs> All right. Democratic Earth. Earth.